Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel VKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about hard reset in microcontroller, especially automotive perspective. In automotive ECUs, reliability and safety are critical. One of the fundamental safety and recovery mechanism is the hard reset. In this video, we will understand what is a hard reset, why it is needed and types of hard reset and how the microcontroller unit identifies the reset source. First, we can start with what is hard reset in microcontroller. A hard reset is a complete hardware level restart of the microcontroller. It brings the microcontroller unit back to its initial power on state. CPU register, peripherals, clock and internal logic are all reinitialized. The microcontroller unit always starts from the reset vector. What actually happens during a hard reset? First, CP execution stops immediately and program counter reset to the reset vector. Stack pointer reinitialize. Peripherals return to default values and clock configurations is reloaded. RAM may be cleared or partially retained, but this is purely depend on MCU. Bootloader or startup code begins execution. So these all are the activities will happen whenever the hard reset happens. Why hard reset is needed in a microcontroller? As you are aware, hard, re hard reset is needed to bring the microcontroller back to a new, safe and stable state when normal operation cannot be trusted. It fully reinitializes hardware and clears faulty states. Now we will see some of the scenario. So first one is we need a hard reset to recover from software hang or deadlock. So whenever the MCU enters infinite loop or stuck state or task deadlock or unresponsive input routine, these all the cases we need a hard reset because a hard reset ensures full recovery. And another reason is protect against unsafe volt conditions. If a supply voltage drops, that's especially a brownout condition, then microcontroller unit behavior becomes unpredictable. There we need a hard reset because in this situation, hard reset ensures no corrupted execution and safe restart after voltage stabilizes. So critical in automotive cranking and load dump events. And another reason is handle hardware fault. So microcontroller unit includes safety monitors. A hard reset is triggered for clock failure, especially PLL unlock an uncorrectable ECC error in RAM or flash and peripheral failure and internal bus timeout. This particularly avoids unsafe or wrong CPU operation. Next one is restore hardware to default state because hard reset clears everything and starts clean. So when peripheral registers or internal logic become corrupted due to EMI or noise, or glitches or overclocking or memory corruption that time we need to restore to default state that's where we need a hard reset and safety requirements ISO 26262 automotive system require defined safe states so hard reset is used to prevent unsafe behavior ensure deterministic startup and support SLB or C or D safety mechanism and watchdog hard reset is mandatory in safety ECUs. Clean boot after firmware update. After over the air or bootloader operations, a hard reset ensures new firmware loaded correctly and all modules configured from default and no old context is retained. And this is also one of the purpose why we need a hard reset. And the last one is prevent data corruption. If RAM or peripheral states are inconsistent, then what the hard reset will do? It will clear volatile memory. It will reinitialize MCU registers and it will reload boot configuration. So basically, hard reset is essential 
because it guarantees the microcontroller unit always returns to a fully deterministic known good operating state whenever software fails hardware fault occur voltage is unstable and safety requires it now what are the types of hard reset are there in microcontroller the first one is power on reset and next one is brownout reset or low voltage reset and external reset and watchdog reset clock failure reset ecc or memory fault reset and software triggered hard reset so what is power on reset this will particularly occurs when power is first applied and brownout reset or low voltage reset means this will get triggered when the supply voltage drops below threshold external reset it's kind of a reset pin so it will be triggered by your supervisor ic or power management ic or external circuitry watchdog reset this particularly independent hardware watchdog times out and clock failure reset this will get triggered when oscillator or pll fails ecc or memory fault reset this will get triggered by uncorrectable memory errors software triggered hard reset so software writes to a system register that initiates a hardware reset so why hard reset is used in automotive as we discussed first of all to recover from deadlock or runaway code or stuck pass and this will ensure a known safe state after failures and guarantee system consistency after brownout or unstable voltages and watchdog ensures fail operational or fail safe behavior so now the very important thing is how the microcontroller knows the reset or how does the microcontroller unit understand what reset is occurred because this is very important right the reason is whenever the reset occurs so how the developer or can other people can understand hey this is a kind of a hard reset or soft reset this all purely depends on whatever the microcontroller you are using in your project so the first important thing is microcontroller will identify what type of reset occurred by reading a special reset status register inside the microcontroller unit so every microcontroller as a special reset regist status register to indicate that what kind of hardware, what kind of reset has occurred in rx if you take the reset name called scu underscore rst stat so here reset state in nxp s32k the register name called rcm underscore srs in stm32 rcc underscore csr and renesas rh850 that is named as resf so inside this registers how we will understand what kind of reset it is so each reset type sets a flag in this register for an example if you see porf that means power on reset borf is brownout reset vxtrf is external reset wdrf is watchdog reset SWRF is software reset and CFRF is clock failure reset. Let's start up software that means bootloader or mcall MCU module or application reads the register and identify the reset source. So you can check in your source code, then you will come to know how exactly this is handled in your project. So I'm coming up with some of the practical example like what is exactly will happen in automotive side the first one is engine cranking so whenever the battery voltage drops an mcu will go to the brownout reset that means because of whenever the voltage is getting dropped then automatically microcontroller will do the reset another example is ecu is getting hang while running then here watchdog will come in the picture and it will take in care of the reset and another one is over the air update so bootloader trigger software hard reset after flashing so here you can see the same kind of scenario whenever you are performing the normal uds flashing as well the another one is clock fault so pll unlock when mcu triggers clock failure reset 
then automatically EC will get restart. So these all are the sum of the scenario or example. What I just want to say that these all are the places or these all are the ways reset will happen. So key notes from this video: hard reset ensures a clean, safe, and reliable startup. It is essential for safety, fault recovery, and stable operation. And automotive microcontroller units provide multiple reset sources and a reset status register to identify them. And hard reset is a core requirement for ISO 26262 compliance. So now, in your project, go and check how the hard reset is happening. Then you can see the real importance of the hard reset in the automotive ECU side. Hopefully, this information will help you a lot to understand about a hard reset, how it is happening in a microcontroller. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.